Union Berlin, a team that not many know about, but is somehow doing very well in the German Bundesliga. Yo, what is going on, my YouTube people? 29 and I'm back here with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be going through the sudden rise of Union Berlin, the team that is smashing it in the Bundesliga currently. And it really does beg the question on just how are they becoming so good, both in the Europa League and in the German Bundesliga. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, like the video as well. It helps out the channel massively. Thank you so much for the recent support on the videos and on other social media. I'm on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, and such. All those links will be down in the description for you guys to check out and follow. And I'll be more than happy to talk to you guys over there. Anyways, let's get started with this video. Union Berlin, a team that was in the second division not long ago, suddenly coming back up and doing very well. They're now challenging the likes of Bayern, Iron, Dortmund, Leipzig, Frankfurt, they are currently second as a time of recording in the Bundesliga standings. That's very, very impressive. Usually you would see Bayern and Dortmund battling out for first and second. And it really does beg the question on just why are they so good? I mean, they haven't lost a game since November of 2022, obviously at the time of recording. That is very impressive. We really have to understand that Union Berlin just completely turned their club around and they've bought in so many players that have helped the club currently. I'm talking about the likes of Jamie Leveling, players like Jordan Pifok, the American striker, Diego Lete on loan. They recently just bought Jerome Roussillon. They got Josep Juranovic from Celtic and just recently as well, Aysa Laiduni, the Tunisian midfielder. All these players are just doing so well for them. And it seems that they are all literally in the form of their lives. And if you really look at the stats, you would see that the top rated players are really all evenly matched. That's because they're all really doing well. The top scorer currently, Geraldo Becker, the Surinamese, is also doing very good. He's having the season of his life. Seven goals at the time of recording. And the second top scorer is tied between many players. But one that stands out is Danilo Durki. And he's a defender. He's a center back. And he's currently on four goals and I would say he's currently Union Berlin's best player. There's just a lot of other good players, you know, Christopher Trimel, Jordan Pifok, like I've said, Geraldo Becker, all these guys are equally contributing to the team and that's what's important. And there's not one individual carrying the team, but rather the whole team all playing their parts and doing so well. They sort of made it as if they are just one of the best teams in the Bundesliga for a while now. That's just how good they've been playing and to reach the Europa League. A lot of people didn't think that they would make it past the group stage and as boring as their play style was in the Europa League, I mean, it wasn't really impressive. You know, they were winning one nails, one ones. It was a boring style of play. It still got them through second. They were above Braga and they made it in. So they are currently now facing Ajax, in my opinion, is one of the best matchups in Europe at the moment, Ajax that are not doing so well are still the favorites to win against Union Berlin. But with how Union Berlin have been playing so far, you really never know. They've been just fantastic. And their team form, like I said, they haven't lost since November of 2022. It's very impressive to see that actually put a smile on my face. I'm a Bayern fan, right? And I am now scared of a team like Union Berlin. If you would have told me that literally last year, I would have laughed at your face. I would say, no, don't run another team that we have to watch out for or Leipzig or Frankfurt. Never in a million years would I think a team like Union Berlin would challenge Bayern. But that's the beauty of it. It's because it's such a unique team. A team that came out of nowhere and no one expected them to do this good. And they are doing that well. And I will be rooting for them in the Europa League. First of all, because it's a German team. But you really have to understand that it's a unique story. If they do manage to win a trophy, just like that. Like I said, a few years ago, they were at the second division and are now back on top of Germany. It's incredible. It's a really nice story to tell. And they've got many talented players, which I'm sure a lot of them will get moves to other bigger teams as time goes by. What's more impressive is the way they played against the big teams. For example, in October, they've played against Dortmund and they won 2-0. It's really these type of teams that you have to beat if you want to be on top of the Bundesliga. The only big defeats that they've had were against Leverkusen, which was a 5-0. Very surprising, by the way, when they lost by that much in a 4-1 defeat to Freiburg, which was the last time they lost a game. But since then, they've been back on track you know, they've been winning against teams like Hoffenheim, Werder Bremen, Wolfsburg, and just recently Mainz. Not teams that are necessarily the best, but they're winning with ease. They're not, they don't seem to be struggling that much. The most impressive thing is that they seem like they've always belonged at the top spot with the way they've been playing. In the Europa League, they've been, like I said, very boring, you know, sitting at the back and trying to hit on a counter-attack to score one goal or two goals. And 
it sort of kind of worked. I don't think that's the way they're gonna go against Ajax and I'll be very surprised. They realistically have a chance to challenge for the title. They're only one point at the time of recording. They're only one point apart from the top leaders, which are Bayern at the moment. And that's a crazy thought. I mean, the Bundesliga is actually competitive. Yeah, I know. It's actually competitive this year. Done it in a way where people are now invested in the Bundesliga. They're like, oh my God, these underdogs might actually top Bayern. Is it going to happen? No one knows. They are going to play against Bayern in later February, I believe. And that game is going to be one to watch because, you know, if they get past Leipzig and Schalke and so do Bayern, it's going to set up for one hell of a match. You really just have to give credit to these players because it's not like they're big players. You know, when you look at teams like Bayern, you know, they've got Muslim. Ziala, Muller, Neuer, all these players. And in Dortmund, you know, they got Marco Hoys, you know, Jude Bellingham. They've got these big name players, but Union Berlin doesn't have a player that is that big. It's because they're all collectively amazing. And when I see them play, it's, it's beautiful. They all have chemistry. They seem to be happy. There's no problems, no drama. They all seem like a proper football team. And I'm excited to see how this team is going to perform in the Champions League if they do make it, which I will predict them to make it. I'm particularly interested interested to seeing how they're going to face up against teams like Real Madrid, you know, the cities and stuff like that, because they drew against Bayern Munich when they played. They didn't lose, they didn't win, but they drew. And Bayern Munich are one of the best teams in the world right now. So I'm really excited to see how they hold up with the rest of the world. Ajax is going to be a super matchup. If they somehow manage to win against Ajax, I think the world is going to look at Union Berlin as, yeah, this team might be the team that is the next, you know, powerhouse. Now, is this a one season wonder? Some people are going to ask that as well. From the way I see it, probably not. Like, like I've said, their play style is very good when it comes to the Bundesliga. They are all very well and they're going to have a lot of money if they finish in a position that they're currently in and even if they are far in the Europa League. So I would watch out for the transfer window in the summer. They're probably going to buy a few good players. In the winter transfer window, like I've said, they brought in the likes of Jérôme Roussillon and Aysa Laiduni and they were very, very close to bringing in Isco, which I think is a huge blow to them. They did not end up getting him and I feel like Isco would have been this one player that could have banged that Union Berlin he's still a good player I mean yeah he's getting older and he's not as good as he used to be but it's still Isco at the end of the day everyone knows who Isco is that would have been like their marquee signing as of now I think it's a huge blow I don't think they're going to necessarily regret it that much but nevertheless it would have been a fantastic signing for Union Berlin and to see them not having that it's kind of hard I mean as a Bayern fan I'm not complaining because Isco is a wonderful player but if you're a Union Berlin fan you are probably very sad that that transfer didn't happen but Isco would have been a fantastic addition to Union Berlin. And I think it would have helped them even more to where they're at. If we go to the squad, like I said, usually their team is always unchanged. They play with the two strikers, Jordan Pifok and Geraldo Becker up top. They don't really rotate their attackers. You know, there's players like Jamie Leveling who would then come in maybe in the last 10 minutes. Jamie Leveling, a player to watch, by the way, I think is a fantastic player. I feel like he needs more time because he's not going to shine if he plays 10, 15 minutes a game, usually even less. But you can't blame the manager for not playing him because the two strikers up top, both Pifok and Charles Becker, are doing so well for Union Berlin. They don't really need to be switching out their strikers. It just makes a lot of sense. As much as I would love Jamie Leveling to play a lot more minutes, you have to understand why he's not playing that many minutes. But that's for their attack. Their midfield, like I said, without Isco is a little bit at, but they made up for it. They got Aysa Laiduni, the Tunisian international, which, which is a great addition to the team. He's very, very good. He was at French Varos. I feel like he's a player that can, you know, be very solid at the back for them. And for their defense, like I said, their defense is their best attack, really. I mean, there's Danilo Doki, the center back, the Jack center back that is doing very well. We got the long veteran, Christopher Trimmel, who's doing very well as well. It's just, they're all collectively well. That's one of the reasons, if not the main reason, as to why they're so good. They don't have one superstar. They're just all collectively very good. What does this mean for the future? Well, if they manage to keep going like this, they can be a real force to reckon with. You never know. They might as well just win the Bundesliga and then everybody's going to look at them as that one team that is the underdogs. I mean, maybe some people are going to compare it to Leicester City. I don't think it's going to be that big. But nevertheless, the one thing that I'm the most excited for for Union Berlin is definitely them playing in the Champions League. The Ajax matchup cannot come any sooner. If they do manage to beat Ajax, a lot of people will give them credit. Whatever you think about Union Berlin as an underdog or one season wonder, you have to give them credit for what they've done this season. They have been simply fantastic. So yeah, that's it for Union Berlin. They are on the sudden rise. Maybe it's going to be Germany's next big club. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section down below or on my other socials. I'll be more than happy to reply to you guys over there as well. Like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.